Hello and welcome to a new video. Today is going to be the final part of my series about building a LEGO 12 volt custom steam engine. So I'm starting this one from my computer so I can show you guys the render in studio that I made of the engine. And then I will move to uh, showing you guys the engine actually in bricks. So I guess without any more delay, here is the final engine that I created in studio. So as you can see, it's a traditional engine. It has a, it's a pretty long wheelbase, the same length as 7777, 7, 28 studs, but the, the body is pretty different. It's got a tender, and then the wheelbase, if I move it over here, you can see it is a 282 wheelbase. This is, again, pretty similar to 7777, 7, 7, the wheelbase, where it's got a, bogey, a central bogey here, and then a central bogey here, and then it has trailing parts here and here. Um, instead of it, it does so it does have two driving wheels or two leading wheels instead of four leading wheels because I wanted to make it a little more realistic because the steam cylinders should be right in the front of the driving wheels there shouldn't be any uh, leading wheels between the steam cylinders and driving wheels so yeah I'm pretty happy with this wheelbase I think it looks a little bit cleaner than the 7777 one there's some aspects where I kind of tried to put more bricks in between so it looked more streamlined moving to the body this is similar but different to 7777. You can see it's got a much longer cabin, a little bit of a shorter boiler, and it's, it does have a closed space in the side like 7750. Whereas you know, if you know 7777, you know that engine has a lot of open space kind of under the, um, under the boiler, but I made the long blocks on the sides like 7750. Moving to the front, it has elephant ears, similar to 7777, and yeah, the, so it has a light behind the slight prism, and then here, so you'll see that in the final model, those do have lights in, um, inside the boiler in there and then the cabin uh, it's a pretty big cabin I put two of the wider windows and then one of the narrow windows on each side uh, yeah and then I've got this little piece this little like plate here because the this section of the wheelbase right here is a little bit lower than the other part and then finally moving back to the tender I actually really like how I designed this tender. It's similar to 7750 and 7777, but it's, it's longer than both of them because 7750 has like a more kind of front overhang tender, whereas 7777 has a more back overhang tender. This one I have slopes on both sides of the motor, so if you move down here, um, you can see I've got slopes on both sides. So this tender is, uh, how many studs? 10, 13, 16 studs. So the, the base of this tender is 16 stud lo studs long instead of the normal uh, 12 or 12 to 14 studs of the other two tenders. And yeah, I've got to see the weights on the sides right over the motor. It's got a light, another light prism here. Yes, there's a light brick inside in the actual model um, ladders on the sides. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this design. And I'm going to now show you guys the actual model in person. All right, so here's the engine in person. As you can see, it's just the same as the um, design on studio so I don't think there's a ton to cover you can see some details that like you can't put in studio so like the, the tires on the engine and then the cables and stuff like that also moving to the front you can see the lights are all installed um, you can also see the articulation of the bogies and how that kind of works together so there you can see there there's a pivot point here and the other pivot point is these two um, wheel sets and then the front and rear ones here on the unlead bow here kind of uh, swinging off freely just like 7777 and yeah so it's got the motor in the back uh, doors opened of course the cabin roof is a little bit hard to get off because uh, it doesn't have any tiles that are attaching it and then you can also see the hoses here these you obviously can't put in studio or if you can I haven't figured out how to do them but I think those hoses in this engine look pretty clean these are actually original from 7750 from where I ordered them um, so yeah, that's the engine. Nothing like super, super special to um, to review, but I think it is a super cool engine. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's a nice mix of kind of that 777 slash 7750 hybrid and my own creation and kind of putting, like making my own steam engine. It is a traditional steam engine. Maybe in the future, because I have all these extra parts, I can definitely make some more steam engine drafts. So I might try to make a tank engine at some point in the future like the DB Class 65 or like Class 78 or something like that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of my engine. I will probably be running this on my next layout or I'll, run, I'll build 7777 and run that on my next layout, layout 15. 
which I do have a draft of, I will um, I'll probably show you guys that in the future before I actually build it in bricks. But yeah, that's the video for today. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this engine. And then I've got some more content coming up. I actually got a station a while back, but I didn't do any reviews of it, a, 7, a 7824. So I'll probably be doing a review of that next. And then it's gonna be planning for layout 15, which I'm really excited for, because it's been almost a year since I've actually built a layout, because it's been super busy. Uh, but yeah, and moving, so a couple of other things to say. I recently hit a thousand subscribers, which I am really happy about. It means a lot to me that you guys like my content and that I continue to positively impact people around the world with my 12 volt, for, with my passion for 12 volt trains and my knowledge of 12 volt trains. Uh, so I'll probably make a thousand subscriber spe special at some point soon. Um, and then also moving forward this summer, there are gonna be probably some changes to the channel. I'd like to make some things a little bit more smooth, a little bit more professional. So I'll be like redesigning my channel banner, probably taking a new uh, profile picture and I actually I do want to make an actual intro and outro and because I've been using like black slides with text which are easy to do and my, my editing software Vegas um, I've been doing that for the past like two years of my channel three years of my channel and I would like to kind of make some things a little bit more professional going forward so I'll probably work on that this summer um, but yeah it's going to be more content and I've got a layout already planned out for pretty soon after I finish the review of 7824, maybe a couple of other small videos. Uh, another series I wanna work on sometime near in the future, and then hopefully a longer term series. Um, one of my things that I really like to do on this channel is actually make an entire comprehensive history, like a really long video series about 12 volt trains. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Um, it would be super information packed, definitely not for the faint of heart, only for the people who are truly committed to 12 volt. Um, but I would like to, I would like to do that. I think that would be um, a great way to showcase all of my knowledge. And for those of you who are looking for something super in depth, this would be exactly that. Uh, so yeah, I think that wraps up for the video for today. Uh, look out for a review of 7824 sometime in the near future, and a couple of other videos. And then I'll get right into building layout 15. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.